Hello, yes, the Game Boy operator has landed. The GB operator from Epilogue, and Epilogue kindly sent this over for me to review. Uh, full disclosure, although I'm under no obligation to review it favorably, it will be an honest review. I'm really keen to see what this can do because it's gonna solve a problem that I have, and that is that I wanna be able to stream Game Boy Advance games. And also when I get the homebrew games, like the Game Boy or Game Boy Advance homebrew stuff, I wanna be able to capture it. And I don't have the facilities to do that. Now, there are a few options out there. Obviously the analog pocket is coming, which is very expensive. There are a few other quite pricey options out there. There's the, uh, the Game Boy Player, for the GameCube, but I don't have a GameCube, I don't have a Game Boy Player. Um, you know, there's, there's loads of options out there. Now this is a pretty cheap option, it's only $50, but it only plays the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games through your computer, which for me is absolutely fine. I wanna be able to stream, I wanna be able to record, and it does that perfectly. Um, it doesn't let you kind of plug it into a CRT or whatever your TV and play that way. So it might not be for you, um, but we're gonna have a look at it, see what it can do, have a look inside the package and then uh, give it a little run on a few games. So here's the box, it comes in the GB operator, play and manage your Game Boy cartridges. Let's open it up and have a look. Very minimal inside, we have a basic user guide, a USB-C charging cable, and of course, the device itself. It does look absolutely gorgeous. I love the design. It's also absolutely tiny. Again, the design is simple with the cartridge slot on the top and the USB-C port on the back for plugging into your computer. You can see it here in my hand, which gives you an idea of the size. And if I pop a Game Boy Advance cartridge in, you'll realize just how small it really is. I love this because it can just sit underneath my monitor and not take up much space. Once plugged in, this LED lights up, which is either this sort of blue white color or green, depending on what the device is doing at the time, for example, loading or reading the data on the cart. So now it's plugged in, we need to download the software. This is done on Epilogue's site under the download section, and there are downloads for Windows and Mac with Linux support coming in August. Once installed, open the Epilogue Operator software and you get this screen. Insert a cartridge and it will recognize it instantly if the game exists in their database, but more on that later. At the bottom right, you can see options for device settings and emulator settings. These are obviously works in progress as they're currently inaccessible, so I'll eagerly await an update on that. You have configuration for keyboard controls or for a controller. I'm using a Logitech USB PC controller, which the software recognized straight away, so I didn't have to fiddle with anything there. Happy days. The tab we're currently on is the Play tab, where you access these settings and launch the game. There's also a Data tab, where you can copy saved data to or from your cartridge or PC. This lets you back up save data from a cart or save it to use on your preferred emulator. You could also in theory copy save data from an emulator to your cartridge. I probably won't use this feature myself, but it is pretty cool. You could theoretically download your save from a cart and then email it to a friend who can then load it onto their copy of the game. Technology. Another nice feature of the data tab is it tells you if your cart is official. This is handy for those who want to check whether or not their cartridge is legit. Is that copy of Pokemon you bought an authentic bargain or a knockoff? Well, this will tell you. Let's load up a Game Boy Advance game first. We'll try my favorite, Advance Wars 2. On first loading the game, it will take a few seconds to load the data. Presumably this is the software downloading the ROM from the cart. So here we go, Advance Wars 2. It looks fantastic and also sounds great. I can't stress this enough. The image and sound are absolutely 100% flawless in my opinion. I know that some recent Game Boy players have fallen short in this department, but I couldn't be happier with the performance of the GB operator. It's perfect. There's also no input lag or any issues with responsiveness. If you plan on streaming or capturing the games for a video, you can of course create and add an overlay like so. But to clarify, this was created by me in Photoshop and added in post, it's not a feature of the software. I'll let you watch this in peace for a minute so you can judge for yourselves.
Next up is a Game Boy game, and again we're going with my favourite, Link's Awakening. Again, absolutely flawless graphics and sound. One gripe I do have is that black and white seems to be the only option. I'm hoping that when Epilogue open up the device and emulator settings that this will be a feature. It would be nice to be able to pick the colour, including having the original green. Of course I can add a green filter in post, like so, but Epilogue, if you're watching, please add this feature to a future update. Let's try a Game Boy Color game, and we're going to see how the software handles a recent homebrew game, Quang's Super Jetpack DX. Now here we don't get a landing page for the game, it's coming up as an unknown title. Also on the data tab we can see that it's coming up as an unofficial cartridge. There is however a feature to submit games to Epilogue's database, so I can tell them that this is Jetpack DX and then it should recognise it in future for all users and display the box art. I haven't tried this yet, but I will be submitting this game to their database. Despite this, the game loads fine, with a warning, although it took a little bit longer to load the data on this one. It plays perfectly yet again, no complaints here at all. One more thing to note is it wouldn't load my EverDrives. I tried my GBA X5 and my Game Boy X3 Crix EverDrives and it wouldn't load either. I didn't expect them to load, but I'm sure some of you are wondering the same, so there's your answer. So there we go, that's the GB Operator. It's a sleek and well-designed device. It plays the games with incredible accuracy, and although it is restricted to being used via a computer, it solved my problem of not being able to record and stream Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. Very happy with it. If you want to grab one for yourself, there's a link to Epilogue's site below, and I think $50 is a very reasonable price. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and thanks for watching. In the next couple of weeks I will be doing an Advance Wars 2 live stream over on the second channel on a Retro Tip Plus so head on over there and subscribe if you want to see that and that will be up sometime in the next couple of weeks.